some messages from Jesus Christ from True Life in God. I am. Little do you know how much I prayed for you to the Father, let alone your Holy Mother. My eyes stream with tears daily because of the crimes of this world. My eyes are worn out looking for generous souls. My heart is troubled and my whole being shudders with pain to the point that I refrain to look down on this generation since, lest my cup brims over. I have made a new hymn of love to sing to you and reach each heart from the heavens to save you and remind you of my eternal love I have for each one of you. I have spoken from above not to impose my rules on you, but propose to you an alliance of peace and love to lead you all under my wings and unite you. I propose to wed you, but how many of you understood what I have been saying? Have you really understood what the spouse has offered you? Explain then to me why every time I speak of reconciliation, you turn your eyes away from me. I was a stranger and you did not welcome me. I was at your door knocking and you did not hear me. Though I have spoken the truth, your tongue never ceased to tell foul lies about me, judging me and condemning me. I have come to teach you good sense and remind you of my knowledge, leadership and service, but you mocked me and jeered at me. I visited you with love and tenderness, with a yearning to unite you all in my heart and teach you all over again the rules of my primitive church, but you allowed your own rules to invade your spirit, throwing me out of your heart. Will you ask, when have I done all these things to the Lord? I tell you, you have done them already to me. You judged me prematurely and allowed your lips to condemn me. For what you have done to me, to my envoys, you have done to me. You profaned their name, thinking you were doing me a favor, but in reality, you were profaning my name. How can you still say, your word, my Lord, is a lamp to my feet? a light on my path, when you have not received my word nor reconciled with your brother. With great love and tenderness, our two hearts in these last days have been out, teaching you all over again that prayer, love and humility are the keys to your salvation. But how many of you have really penetrated this truth? Your heart is the gateway through which I can enter to heal you and guide you in my path. Have you really treasured our words in your heart? Or are you still out for war? You cannot hide from me, nor can you say I have deprived you of this truth. Explain them to me. If, you're, if you claim you are the truth, you are in the truth. Your division. Open your eyes, my friend. Open your heart, not your mind. I tell you again. There is not a good man left. No, not one, really. There is not one who understands, since all of you are under sin's domain, dominion. Not one who looks for me. All have turned aside, tainted all alike, and yet many of you claim to be in the light. I tell you, so long as you remain divided, you are still in the dark. So long as you rejoice in your division, you are still not knowing where you are going because it's too dark to see. I have come to you to offer you a free gift, the gift of my love. But love again was misunderstood, rejected, and alien in your heart. In spite of all my pleas to reconcile you and unite you, you go on sinning. How can I forgive your sins when you are repeatedly repressing my words? You hear my voice, but you no longer recognize it. Unless you allow me to uproot all that is not me in your heart, you will never see how today my Holy Spirit seeks in you more than any time reconciliation and unity. I have shown you how to unite. Unity will be in your heart, reconciliation will be in the heart, and not by a signed treaty. How can any man claim he is just when your countries are at war and aflame? Learn that my sacred heart seeks from you. Charity, generosity, prayer, and a spirit of reconciliation, and to love one another as I love you. Will I hear from you your cry of surrender of repentance? My child, trust me. You are unable to lift your little finger on your own. All power comes from me. Reward me now and offer me your will. I'm waiting. I, Jesus, tell you, 
you enjoy my favor, for you are under my authority. Tell all those whom my heart selected that I shall never fail them. The spouse will provide their needs. Let everyone see in them true witnesses. Let everyone know there is truth in them by their way of sharing. I'm sending them out to, to face the world, and they must abstain from carping criticism so that their tongue does not kill them or divide them. Not one of them has earned this grace. I, Jesus, offer them freely the grace so no one should ask for money. The strong should support the weak, the rich, the needy. As I have said, there is more happiness in giving than receiving. Acts 20, 35. I will give you enough to cover your expenses, so do not ever put me to the test. Be united in me and among you. Never give way to despair in your trials. Do your best, and I will do the rest. Courage. Pray so that you may not sink. Reveal the riches of my sacred heart and my glory to the world. You want to be witnesses of the Most High? Die then to yourself. You want to be the one with me? Detach yourself from the world. You want to serve love? Follow my footprints, drenched in my sacrificial blood. Remember one last thing to be set free from your human inclinations and weaknesses. Ask my Holy Spirit to help you. Ask, and it shall be given to you. I am gentle and humble of heart, and I know everything in your hearts. So ask my Spirit, and my Spirit will come to you to your help. The Spirit now seeks you to pray often this prayer. Jesus, neither death nor life, nor no angel, no prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing will ever come to separate me from you. I vow to remain faithful to you. This is my solemn vow. Help me to keep this vow forever and ever. Amen. Up, my child, and thresh, let your thoughts be my thoughts. Abandon yourself to me so that all you do will be done in my spirit and according to my mind. Allow my spirit to breathe freely in you, and I will accomplish my will in you. Happy are you, my child, who meditate and allow my wisdom to be your personal teacher, for she will reveal to you many more secrets. Receive and give. Give. And these are messages from Two Life in God, September 14th and 17, 1992. God bless you all. Christ is risen, truly risen. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.